that always take forever picking us up. They do take pretty long. Well, how about we have my parents pick us up? Relax, kiddos. They're going to be here soon. Yeah, just be patient. Oh, I think I see them. Really? Where? Right over here, we've got Dawn's dad and Dawn's mom, and we're going to make her a custom family today. I think this Barbie has the perfect hair color and even the bangs to be Dawn's mom. So we're going to do one thing first. We're going to switch her out to a made-to-move Barbie body, and that way she'll be able to move around, say hi, and kick up a storm instead of just being frigid and kind of like she's frozen. So for that, we're going to need to remove this Barbie's head and put it onto this Barbie. And to do that, I'm gonna take a blow dryer and warm up the plastic a little bit, and that'll make it easier to take off her head with a pair of tweezers. And remember, before doing any type of crafting, be sure to get the help of a grown-up. It's gonna be loud. Okay, so I've got it on her for about two minutes, and now I'm gonna take my tweezers, kind of work my way in there, because she's got this plug hanging onto her head, so it's not the easiest taking Barbie heads off. There you go, can you see the plug? It's a teal-colored plug. Ooh, there you go, that wasn't too bad. Usually the plugs are a white color, but that's pretty unique. And we don't wanna break any of these parts, because that's what we're gonna need to hold on to the new head. Okay, now it's this Barbie's turn, and then our head transplant will be complete. Here we go again. Okay, same with this one. We're gonna stick the tweezers in, try to take it off as clean as possible without damaging the plug. Oh, there's one part, I got it out. Ooh. Oh, see that's what we wanna avoid. So Barbie's head kinda broke, but that's okay because that's not the head we need. Ooh. There we go, we saved the plug. And now all we gotta do is get this head on. Just do a shimmy shimmy shake and that part should be easy. Now she's got a new body that's made to move. Okay, so I've got my paint station set up. I've got some fabric paint and some acrylic paint. Okay, starting off with her eyes. Her eyes are like a aqua colored bright blue, but Dawn's color is more of a darker blue. So I'm gonna use this paint called Blue Bonnet and we're gonna try to get that color on her mommy. Just a slight change. They're looking a little wonky, but we'll clean that up. It's a very tiny spot we're working with, so boo-boos are bound to happen. Now this blue is still looking a little bright. Dawn's blue almost has a tint of purple in it, so I'm gonna get that on her mom. We're gonna go to our messy, messy paint palette and mix this blue with a little bit of this purple and see if we can get that color. this should be good. Maybe a little bit more of the blue. And that should give us Dawn's eye color. Make sure we tap out the excess paint on our brush, twirl it around a little bit, bring it to a point because we're going to need that for that tiny, tiny little spot. And here we go. going to use a little bit of black to add those details back in there. And some white. Moving on to her eyebrows, I'm gonna go for a darker pink.
then I actually want to add some detail to her eyebrows because they're looking a little bit bland to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some fake little hairs with brown paint. Using some chalk pastel, I'm gonna give her some blush. And her bangs are kind of hairsprayed to be straight. I'm gonna kind of wash them up with some water. And then I'm gonna move them over to the side and apply some glue to keep them that way. I'm gonna use a spoolie to help with the brushing process. So the more I move her hair, the more I notice that she's got a little bald spot over there. So I'm gonna add a little more of her longer hair and glue it down to where it's a side bang and then we're gonna cut that part off. I'm gonna use Mod Podge to glue that down. You could also use school glue. I'm gonna take some on the brush and get it on her hair. It goes on white, but it dries clear. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna get her hair up in some cute buns, but it's gonna be half up and half down to kind of give her a different look from Dawn's. For her shirt, I'm gonna get some fabric paint on there. Now I'm gonna add a second layer of white. and her sleeves are gonna be this pink fabric paint. It's a nice pearly color. For the mom shorts, I'm gonna put on a white base first so we don't have to work so hard with our other colored paint. For her shoes, I'm gonna give her these cute sneakers and I'm gonna paint them the same color that Dawn has.
Okay, so now it's Don's dad's turn. We're gonna change his outfit out, give him some jean shorts. Okay, got his shorts on, and then we're gonna change up his shoes. And I'm gonna change up his shirt to this one. Okay, so we've got him dressed up. Now it's time to get some paint on him. We're basically gonna do the same color theme for the dad as we did with the mom. I'm gonna coat the dad's hair with a white base first, and then we'll go in and get that lighter pink color in for him to match Don's hair. The last couple of steps is to add some shadows and shading to his hair. <laughs> Girls, did you pack your bags? We're ready to go. Yeah, where are those bags? I've got the camper ready. And Dusk, where are your parents? Uh-oh, does that mean we have to wait for them? Yeah, I called them. They're supposed to be on their way. Bags? What do you mean bags? I didn't know we were supposed to pack. Uh, we seriously are not going to get to go camping ever. Don't be so dramatic, big sister Dawn. We're going to go just now. We have to wait for everyone to get together. Um, Auntie Daisy, where's your headband? Oh, right. How could I forget my headband? Very true. She can't forget her cute headband. And here you have it. It's Dawn's parents. And sounds like they're ready to go camping. All right, it's time for their close-up. Let's get a rundown of what we did. We gave the mom custom face paint and we did a whole head transplant. Gave her a made-to-move body. It's just so much more fun to make her movable and poseable. Her hair was already the perfect hair color, so we didn't need to do anything with her hair. We've got her custom painted t-shirt. And I also painted her a camisole slash tank top underneath her stuff so she's not showing too much of her belly. Painted her shorts light blue and gave her cute sneakers that we painted into a teal aqua color. And looks like they need a touch up. Boop, 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 boop. Even though I sealed them in, you still kind of get gashes if they scrape up against something. And for Daddy-O, we've got his hair into a cool pink color and we gave his hair some shading. Kept his cool glasses, I think they're so cute. Gave him a custom shirt and painted it in the same Dawn colors, the cute pink, yellow, green, and purple. He's got some jean shorts on and he's got some sneakers that we painted into that same green color. And I think they look so ready to go camping. Plus, the kiddos have been waiting for them for a long time. But, whoa, wait, where's Dusk's parents? Oh, no, looks like they're gonna have to wait just a little longer for them to come. Aw, oh, man, see, I told you so. I knew we weren't gonna go right now. And now Dawn's family is complete. They look so cute together. And that's it for now. Let me know in the comment section which you guys want to see next, and I will see you later. Bye!
So, um, how many days you guys been waiting for our parents? Yeah, we were inside having fun playing games and you guys were just waiting outside. <laughs> we were not just waiting outside, Nightfall. We were making good use of our time. Right, Don? Right. And they're probably busy doing something, you know, for their camping trip and, and packing their stuff. Unlike you guys, you guys always are lazy and we always have to pack after you. I'm tired. My feet hurt. Yeah, Mommy, where's our strollers? Hush, hush, little ones. I think I see them coming. They should be here anytime soon. You know they like to be fashionably late. Hey, honey, have you seen my yellow glasses? I mean, even though we're going camping, I still want to be looking my best. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind the glasses. I think I see them coming. Phew, we get to finally leave. Hey, turns out they're right. Dusk's parents are here. Today, we're going to be making some parents for Dusk and Nightfall and Little Dusk. First step up, let's address the elephant in the room. We're going to need a body for our Dusk mom's head. And this is all I got. It's not really an exact match because this Barbie's got a tan and this Barbie is pretty fair. But we're going to have to work with what we have. So I'm going to put her head onto this Barbie and then we'll be good to go. It's Head Transplant 2.0. I've got my blow dryer. I'm going to get some heat on the plastic to kind of soften it up. And then we're going to use some tweezers to pluck her head off. And now let's take her head off. Someone in the comment section left that we could just take it off with our hands, but I think that's gonna be a little too difficult to get around that plug and I don't wanna break it. But with the tweezer, there is a chance that I could break Barbie's head in case I wanna use it for a future project and I wanna keep it intact. But this is where the tweezer helps us. It helps get over that plug bit. There it is, can you see it? And then there's two little Christmas tree bits poking out to keep the head into place, so we need to get past that part. Okay, almost there. There you go, that wasn't too bad. Last time we almost knocked the camera out. And putting her head on is the easy part, so no trouble there. Just a shimmy shimmy shake, and there we go. Now I could paint her body, but since she's got joints and I want her to be able to move around, I don't want the paint cracking, so I think I'm gonna leave her the way she is. Okay, now we're ready to start painting. I've got my art station ready to go with all of my paints and everything I pretty much need to get this party started. But first up, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add some streaks of blue in her hair to kind of match Dusk's hair. I love her jet black hair, which is exactly what we need but I do want to get those blue highlights in there because Dusk has two-toned hair. In comes the trusty Rainbow Dash wig. We can pick a blue out of here and I think that'll be good. Now we shouldn't be needing a lot. I'm gonna pick this much out of the wig and cut it out. That way we have nice long pieces to work with so we can match the length of her hair. Here is our pop-up hair surprise. I'm gonna use the sprayer from that and spray our hair because it's always easier to reroot damp hair than it is dry hair. And using my rerouting tool, I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit, not too much because I don't wanna poke a super big hole in her head, so about that much is good. And then I'm just gonna place it wherever in her head that I want to have those highlights. And there she goes with her very first highlight. Okay, probably should have left her head off and then rooted her hair. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take her head back off and reroute her the hair that we need and glue all that into place and then put her head back on. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna get some glue in her head to secure all of her new hair. And then we're gonna wait about four hours to get that glue nice and rock solid. 
And with a Q-tip, I'm gonna swish that glue all around to make sure that it's covered all of the spots I need it to cover. Now while I'm waiting for her head to dry, I'm gonna start work on her outfit. For Desk's mom's outfit, I've picked out this cute little number. Even though I love the Superman on that top, we're just gonna have to cover it. So let's get these two painted and looking more like Desk's outfit. Now you guys know I'm a messy crafter, so when I do any type of crafting, my hands are always a mess. So this time around, I'm gonna try to keep things clean with some gloves, because painting the outfits is definitely messy. Especially with fabric paint. It's kind of different from acrylic paint in every way, and also in terms of washability. It does not wash off easy. It like sticks to your fingers and holds on for dear life. So here we go with our skirt. I'm gonna start off with our black fabric paint. <coughs> Oh no! Okay, so for starters, that happened. I can't even open a bottle of paint without an accident. Yeesh, that's pretty bad. So let's get some of that on here. And look what happened. It landed directly on the dad. <gasps> no, Neil, no! Why, Neil, why? It's not coming off. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that later. waiting for the mom's outfit to dry, I'm gonna work on the dad's outfit so that they could dry at the same time. Bro, it's One Direction. Uh, your dad's One Direction? No, it's not. It's Dada. Uh, one Direction. Dada. One Direction. I'm thinking more of a nightfall look for the dad. So in we go with the fabric paint. And we're going for second layers.
All right, now that we got the clothes out of the way, we can work on the dad's face and hair, and we can do the mom's face and hair. We kind of did things a little different in this video and switched things up. Did the outfits first and the hair and face last. Save the best for last, right? So we have the color changing dusk, so her eyes are green, but Nightfall's eyes are a dark brown. So we'll do his dad's a dark brown, just like Nightfall, since we're following his theme for the dad mostly. And this time we're working with an even tinier spot, because Neil's eyes are a lot smaller than Barbie's. So hopefully I don't totally mess this up. Very, very careful. Turning his blue eyes brown. There's one eye, and now for the other eye. All right, I think we've got it. Moving on to his eyebrows. Dusk's eyebrows are brown, but Nightfall's are black, and I'm thinking about making them black. Okay, good enough. And I don't know, let's try adding some of that eyeliner that Nightfall has. Kind of give him that goth look. Time to do his hair. Now with Dusk's mom, she already has the brown eyes, so we don't have to worry about that. All I need to do is add the teardrop that Dusk has on her face. And I'm gonna touch up her eye makeup just a little bit. Now here is Dusk's picture. I could do mom's lips blue, or I can just keep them the way they are right now. In the picture, Dusk's eyebrows are even black, so she's a lot different from the Dusk we have. She also comes in a non-color change version, and her teardrop is actually a beauty mark on this newer version of her. So we definitely have a couple of options to go with for her mom. So I'll try the blue lips with this cobalt hue paint and we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't look okay, then we'll change it up. And for her eyebrows, I'm gonna try the black eyebrows. Now I love rosy cheeks, so I'm gonna blush her up with some chalk pastel. For her hair, I'm gonna use the clips from our Pop-Pop Hair Surprise. I'm gonna change her clips into a dusky kind of scene. So I'm thinking galaxy colors and a starry night sky. Now I'm gonna actually do something a little different and paint Dusk's mom's fingernails. And guess what? It's not only Dusk's parents' makeover, we're gonna make over Dawn's dad. Truth be told, while I was making Dawn's parents, I totally forgot that Sunny and Nightfall were their brothers. So since I made Dusk's dad like Nightfall, I'm gonna make Dawn and Sunny's dad similar to his son. Even though Sunny has brown eyes, I'm gonna keep his eyes blue. I'm gonna change his hair to a blonde and brown, just like Sunny's. With some chalk pastel, we're gonna give him some shading. Now 
Now we're gonna change out his shirt and give him the one he originally came with, which just happens to be a perfect match for Sunny's shirt. And this was actually a suggestion from a couple of you in the comment section, so a special thank you to everyone who pointed that out. And a special final touch is a vibes beanie. I'm gonna turn his shoes into the checkered ones that Sunny has because they're already the same color, so we don't need to do too much to them. I'm gonna add a white sole. Now the final step is to seal in all of our paint using some matte varnish. Whoa, honey, I thought you were going to change your glasses. I didn't know you would have a whole entire hair and outfit change. Dada, what happened to your pink tail? Don't care, Daddy. You look awesome. Daddy, what happened to your pink tail? And your really cute pastel short? Well, Daddy, totally works like you. Whoa, I think he looks good. Thanks. I decided while we're waiting, why not just change some stuff out? Well, I love your outfit and your shoes, Dad. Oh, and I made it just in time. There's Neil and Lilith right now. <laughs> hey, hey, Dawn gang. We didn't keep you guys waiting for too long, did we? Yeah, we're ready to go camping. whoop de doo Couldn't you guys have thought of somewhere else we could have gone? Like maybe the Kiss reunion concert? Oh boy, here we go again. Neil, camping makes you one with nature. Concerts, we can go anytime. Finally, you guys are here. The kids were getting so antsy. Mommy, never take forever again. Wait, where are the big sisters now? We're here, we're here. Finally, everyone's here. So when we get to go? He's so funny, Dad. <laughs> That's my dad. So cool, right? Right? I know. He looks exactly like me. Two do two. I'm getting, like, really show-offy vibes from you. My dad's way cool. Um, uh-uh, my dad's way cool. So here we are. We finally have the Dusk family. And it's about time, because everyone was waiting to go on that camping trip. We've got everyone here, including Nightfall and Sunny. What did we do? So we rooted some dark blue hair into Dusk Mom's hair and gave her some Dusk-inspired clips. She's got the starry night sky on them. I painted in her eyebrows black, gave her some extra eye makeup, and the teardrop that Dusk has on her cheek. Plus, we gave her blue lipstick to match our non-color changing Dusk. We painted her top and skirt black and white to match Dusk's outfit. And we also gave her special nail polish. She's got her tights on and she's got her black studded boots on. Final touches are her dark side bag and her cute sunglasses to bring everything together. For Dusk's dad, we went for Nightfall's look, gave him black hair, painted his eyebrows black, gave him that dark eye look that Nightfall has. Then we took the outfit that Neil came in and painted that black and white. We've got the skeleton ribcage on his shirt and the black and white striped pants and painted on some black gloves. 
Plus used his shoes to paint black and white. And Shazam, you've got the Nightfall look. And not only did we customize the Dusk family, but we also gave Dawn's dad a new look, made him look more like Sunny. Now the families are complete. All right, and that's a wrap. Stay tuned while the families go on a camping trip for lots of hilarious fun with the Dusk and Dawn family. And until then, I will see you later. Bye for now. Did you win the game? No, I lost it. Now I need some more money. Where's mom and dad? Uh, I don't know. I've been with you this whole time. Well, I need to find mom and dad so we can get some more coins to play some more games. Hey guys, it's Cupcake here. Today we're making some custom parents for Betty and her little sister. And we're gonna be doing it with these two dolls. Here is our beautiful blue-haired Barbie doll and our really cool Ken doll. He's got a motorcycle and everything, but that's not the important part. We're gonna need him and his leather jacket and his cool distressed jeans. He's got the look for a baddie daddy. And here is our lovely beautiful Barbie. We're gonna be getting rid of that blue hair though. Even though I love it, we don't have any LOLs that I can think of with blue hair, so we're gonna reroute her hair with this special green and black hair that I bought just for this makeover. Now, before we begin, I do want to address some of the TGIF questions I've been getting. We still will be having some TGIFs here and there, but we won't be having it every Friday. So for those who are confused about what's going on with TGIF, we're just gonna have it whenever and not every Friday because TGIFs were basically DIYs and customizations on Fridays, but we have those any day of the week anyway. Now with that out of the way, let's begin with Batty Mom. First off, let's take a look at how pretty this Barbie is. Just look at her hair, her face, everything is perfect and very proportionate but this beautiful blue hair's got to go I really don't want to get rid of it but looks like we're gonna have to because I do want her to have real hair I don't want to make clay hair so we're gonna root some green hair and black hair first step up is we're gonna cut off all of this hair to as much as I can get it and then we're gonna pull it out from underneath to get a bare head that way it'll be easier for us when we root it All right, so I've got her hair down as much as I needed. I'm gonna take some hot water now and safely remove our Barbie's head. Now remember, do not try this at home. If you are trying to make a custom Barbie at home, be sure to get the help of your parents. So I'm gonna dunk her head in and leave it in. Oop just for a little bit and that'll soften up our Barbie's head so I can easily remove it without breaking it. Okay, so with some tweezers, I'm gonna try to remove it now. Woo, ooh, that was scary, I thought I broke it. So here is the part that we do not want to break. And now I can start working on getting these little tiny hairs out from inside her head. Using some tweezers, this is gonna be a long process. Because remember, these hairs are glued in there so they don't fall out of Barbie's head. See, you can see all the way in there. They are glued in there. So we're gonna try to take them out as best as we can. All right, so we've pulled out all the hair. It's nice and smooth, and boy, was that a mission. It was not easy pulling out that hair. That glue was super deeper hard, and here is a little bit of what I pulled out. It's a big chunk. I honestly don't even know how that even came out without ripping the Barbie doll's head. So we still got a whole bunch loose in there, and we can easily take that out with some tweezers or you can just shake it and it'll fall right out. Weird, huh? So that is what the inside of the hair looks like. I think I've got a little plug in there still. Here are all the plugs we pulled out. That is a lot. And my table is protected, so that is what you guys are seeing here. Now it's time to reroute Batty Mama's hair. All right, now on to the fun part. I'm gonna take my rerouting tool. You guys can see that it has a custom needle with 
two heads, so that's gonna help us root the hair back into her head. Here is our black hair, it's so shiny and pretty. It feels silky, silky smooth. I'm gonna take a strand, it's not gonna be a big strand, it's gonna be a tiny one, cause we don't want to rip the plastic on her head. And then I'm gonna swoop it in between those two needle heads, and here we go. So I'm gonna start with the black right over here. And there is our first strand, yay! And here we go with a bajillion more. Since I'm making her a new hairline, I'm gonna dry it in with a pin, just so we don't get misguided. Her hairline is actually the other way and it was supposed to be parted this way, but we're gonna part it this way like Batty and Little Batty. Woo, we've rooted all of her hair and she's got crazy hair. It's all over the place. You guys can see just how long her hair is. She's definitely gonna need a haircut and a hot water soak so we can get her hair to calm down a little bit. So to do her hot water soak, we're gonna have to take a rubber band and rubber band her hair the way we would want it to lay and then dunk her in some hot water. Boop, boop. And then let her dry this way. And we're back after her hair is dry, glued in, and tamed. We are ready for a haircut now. Look how long her hair is. We could just leave it like that and call her Batty Rapunzel, but no. We're gonna cut it off, but we're still gonna leave it long. I really do like the long hairdo. So let's just cut it a little bit to where it's more manageable. Woo, see? Now it's still long, but a little more manageable. Now we're moving on to the painting part. We've got her hair out of the way, which is exactly what we need. And I'm gonna move on to painting her face and getting her to look a little more batty. Now Batty's got these really pretty gray eyes, so let's get the gray on her mom without ruining her eyes. It's a very tiny spot, but I will try my best. Batty's also got black eyebrows, so I'm gonna change those on her mom. And Betty's got black lipstick, so let's add that on her mom. And let's not forget her teeny tiny mole above her lip. Now realistically, you guys know that parents don't look exactly like their kids, and the kids don't look exactly like their parents, but it's just fun to do it with our LOL families. And for her eyeshadow, she's got really green eyeshadow, just like her hair. I'm gonna add some of that right above her eye. Again, this is a tiny spot and I'm gonna try not to ruin it. Using some chalk pastel, I'm going to, ooh, that is very dark. What happened there? So with some chalk pastel, with a drier brush this time around, I'm gonna make her cheeks slightly rosy or maybe very rosy. So I like my dolls to have rosy cheeks. That's just so pretty. <laughs> All right, so minor changes. I glued some earrings on her that I borrowed from Soul Babe, and I closed her mouth, so I painted it all with that black lipstick. I just thought it looked a little better. Now, I don't have an extra choker like Batty, so I'm gonna just paint one on. And for her outfit, I'm going to just use her outfit and paint it all black.
time to paint her tights. We're gonna give her that black and white striped tight that Batty has. I switched her shoes out with another Barbie's shoes. And now we're gonna paint some of the parts on Batty Green. And now's the perfect time to add some green detail to her outfit. Daddy does have some tatters and rips in her tights, so I'll do the same for her mom. But we'll keep it minimal because she is a grown-up and she shouldn't have too many tatters. And then I'm going to outline them with the black. Time for the daddy-o. Now, daddy-o is looking a little too much of a goodie with this hair. So I'm gonna make him a new head of hair with some modeling clay. And hopefully we can get that batty look on him. And then we're gonna do the same color theme, keep his outfit, paint it in batty's color theme, and then we'll be good to go. Moving on to his eyebrows, we're gonna give him black eyebrows just like Betty. Paint his eyes that pretty shade of gray. And of course his jacket is going to be black leather. give him black and white striped tights like Batty. We're gonna do that pattern on his shirt.
here with me too. I was real good. I didn't bother big sister at all. Honey, we were watching you the whole time. I was at the token machine exchanging money for some more tokens. Ooh, that token machine line? That's crazy. It's almost out the door. All right, kiddo, how about you versus your dad in a game of Pac-Man? Silly daddy, you know I'm the Pac-Man champion. I'll beat you any day. Whoa, we finally finished the baddie family. They're looking pretty snazzy if you ask me. Let's take a closer look at baddie mom. Her hair was not easy. It was super hard rooting all of that hair in, but we managed to do it and it's pretty and long and she's even got the green and the black. She has a lots of pretty hair for combing and braiding and all that fun stuff. Let's check out her face. We gave her a custom baddie face, gave her green eyeshadow, black eyebrows, gray eyes, the beauty mark above her lip, black lipstick, and rosy cheeks. She's also got gold hoop earrings. We also painted her a custom choker, just like baddies. Using the outfit that came with our Barbie, I just painted it all black. And we've got a little bit of neon green trim on the bottom of the skirt and the fluffy foo-foo-y part of her top. She's got bad written on the top with golden studs. And we don't want to forget the golden studs on the bottom of her skirt. Looks pretty cool and matchy-matchy. We've got her back. And she's got those tokens in there too. Gave her some striped tights with some rips in it. Very minor rips. Not as much as her daughter's. And we customized her heels with neon green paint and black buckles. Let's give her a twirly twirly so you guys can see all of her hair in the back too. Super pretty and super fun to play with. I love the combination of the black and the green together. It mixed in pretty nicely. Now for Batty Daddy, I gave him a custom hairdo using some modeling clay and we painted his eyebrows black, gave him gray eyes, painted his shirt with black stripes. He has the bed on his shirt too and he had a red leather jacket. We painted that black with some neon green trim. Gave him some pockets on those too. Painted his jeans into black jeans and customized his shoes into really bougie looking neon green shoes. He's also got gold studs on there, too. Whoa, you've got some really cool parents. Oh, thanks. I taught them well. I hope you guys enjoyed our DIY customization of Baddie's parents. I sure had fun making them. The end result is always super fun to see. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now. My, 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 what a wonderful tea party we have. Batty, would you like some cream and sugar in your tea? Goody, this is the last round of tea party that we're going to play. And then after we're going to play hide and seek or something I want to play. Because this is so drab. And yes, I would like some cream and sugar. Oh, oh no, oops, I forgot. My mom and dad are supposed to bring the cream and sugar. I want it to be a real tea party. Sissy, we have cookies. Maybe you could crumble up the cookies and use the sugar in there for the tea. Ew, with a goodie? I don't think that's how it works. And, and I don't want to give up my cookies. I want my cookies just like this. Uh oh, ah, ah. <laughs> Looks like Baddie Monkey wants a cookie too. Uh -oh, ah, ah, ah. oh, Mom and Dad, where's the cream and sugar? Sweetie, your mom and dad are not here yet. They really are taking a long time. Yeah, well, grocery shopping sometimes does take a long time. But Goody Dad needs to hurry up so we can make it in time to the pool supply store. You know, those places close real fast. We need some pool supplies to get that pool ready for swimming so the kids can have a good time this summer. Ooh, a pool party does sound nice right about now. Mommy, Daddy! Oh, man, I gotta call them on my cell phone. Now, where is Goody's parents? We're about to make them. Here is Goody's mom. This is the perfect doll for her. We've got the Ballet Wishes Barbie. And for Goody's dad, we're just using our standard favorite Ken doll and it's Camping Fun Ken. Of course, we're not gonna be using this outfit for Goody's dad though. All right, so no more chitter chatter. Let's get right to it. The cool thing about Goody's mom is that she comes with these nylon pantyhose. So she's already got a fancy look. So here's how Goody's mom stands because she is a ballerina. So she's got articulated legs and she can do ballet kicks. Oh, very fancy. 
She can't really do a plie because she can't bend at the ankles, but that's not important for our makeover. But it's fun to look at how they made a Barbie ballerina. So Goody's mom's legs are gonna be in this position basically all the time. I think the easiest thing I can do for Goody's mom is take this little flower off because it's kinda looking tacky to me. I'm gonna take that off. They've sewn it into the fabric, so what I'm gonna have to do is take my seam wrapper and take out each of the stitches one by one. Now remember, before you do any crafting project, especially when you need to use sharp objects, be sure to get the help of a grown-up. Kind of messed up the fabric, but not all that much. It's much better than us just taking a scissor and snipping it off of there. So there we go, we got that funny looking little flower off of there. And now we're gonna get to work on her hair. I'm not gonna cut her hair off, we're just gonna keep it like this. Okay, so first goes her little crown. It's actually sewn in here with stitches. I'm gonna open it up, and I'm actually thinking about keeping the braids just like this. And we're gonna work our magic with some chalk pastel. So these are the chalk pastel that I use. We're just gonna wet her hair a little bit and we're gonna get some orange chalk pastel with some white chalk pastel and just work it through her hair. And using a brush, we're gonna brush it through, mix it in and just get it looking a lot more like Goody's hair color. Alright, and here we go. We've got all of the color through and through her hair, and we've got it looking exactly like Goody's color. Easy peasy. Except now we gotta fix her face because she's got chalk pastel all over it. Let's take some water on a paper towel and start wiping away. Her hair is wet and we've got the chalk pastel in it. I'm actually really liking the color. It is pretty much exactly Goody's hair color. Now to make it permanent, I'm gonna add some heat with my hair dryer. So that'll get the color set right into her hair. All right guys, so here is her hair all dried and I love it. I didn't really think it was gonna turn out this pretty with the chalk pastel, but she looks like a fairy princess. I love the dusty finish of her hair with cosplay wigs. To make it look realistic, a lot of people add baby powder to get this look to it so it doesn't have that shiny, fake nylon hair look. This looks a lot more like realistic hair. And I love how it turned out with the braid up top. And the hair actually went a lot lighter. It's more of like a pastel peachy color. So it's like the Barbie hair version of Goody's hair. All right, so now it's time for our fairy princess to get a face makeover. So starting off with her eyes, Eyebrows. I'm gonna use a peachy toned acrylic paint. Using the tiniest brush I can find, I'm gonna get in there and get her eyebrow color to match her hair color. Now 
moving on to her eyes. It's a very tiny spot. I'm gonna try not to mess it up, but we're gonna turn her eyes into a lighter blue like goodies. Hey, okay, and then let's see if we can get some stars in there. Okay, so the smaller stars look like little blobbies, but they're still a bit star-like. Now for her lips, I'm gonna take some nail polish remover and we're gonna give her brand new lip color and lips. I kinda like changing up the lips of my Barbies. It gives it a special custom touch. And let's get that special star on her cheek. We can put that right over here for Goody Mom. And using some chalk pastels, it's time to blush her cheeks. Just a little bit of chalk pastel goes a long way and we can give her some beautiful blushed cheeks. And our final step for Goody Mom is to seal everything in with some Dura Clear Matte Varnish. That way nothing starts chipping off and she stays looking pretty forever. And we don't want to forget Goody Mom's gloves. Time to get some pearly stars on her gloves. Now aside from her gloves having the stars, she's also got stars all over her outfit top and her skirt. I'm gonna get as many of these opalescent stars on her outfit as I can. Using some fabric fusion glue and this little picker upper tool, I'm gonna pick up the stars one by one. Oh, I got so many on there. And I'm gonna arrange them on her top with the glue. So once I get them on there, I can spread them out like that. Here is her beautiful outfit made up of stars. Next up, it's Goody Daddy. He's been missing because he's gone camping. Well, not really, but let's get him out of his camping gear. We're gonna change Goody Daddy into this outfit. It's just gonna make it a lot easier to paint. He's back with an outfit change. Let's start with his hair. Oh, we're gonna get him to sit down for a bit. So let's just start painting his hair. While I'm waiting for the first layer of his hair to dry, I'm gonna go in and paint in his eyebrows. Time for our second layer. Let's get his blue eyes a little bluer, like goodies. Now for the hard part, getting some stars in those teeny tiny eyes. 
Now I'm thinking star or no star for dad's face. Let's try it and if it's a yay, we'll keep it. If it's a nay, we will just easily erase it. And I think I want Goody's dad with some sleeves, so I'm gonna give him a jacket too. All right, time to start painting. We're just gonna go for the same color theme with the peachy toned pinks and maybe a darker pink for his entire outfit. So let's see how it turns out. It's time to paint the Goody Two Shoes for Goody Dad. Plus, we don't want to forget to add some stars to Goody Dad. And finally, we're gonna seal everything in with our DuraClear matte varnish so that we can have all of our paint stay where it belongs on our goodie dad. And you know what? I actually want to add some gloves to the dad. I only do it because, you know, best friend duties. Goody dear, the cream and sugar are right where you left them. Mommy, why are you doing your good witch of the North impression again? Mommy, I love when you do the good witch of the North impression. You do the bestest. Well, you goody, it's because she is the good witch of the North. All right, baddie dad, how about that pool supply store? I know one about three miles from here. I think we should go right now before it gets closed. Yeah, man, you took long enough. You know those kids are going to be real upset if we don't get that pool ready this week. And I don't want to be dealing with that. I hear you, pal. The little one over there was looking for the sugar and cream. Gotta be a good dad and find her some. Sister, hello. Your hair is looking extra beautiful today. What conditioner are you using? I must know. Hey, little sis. You know it's the same one I use all the time. It's the Wicked Witch Conditioner. Keeps my green looking green. Oh, okay. I must try some of that conditioner. Yeah, I don't think green's your color. I'll tell you what, we'll find another one better suited for your hair. Aw, thanks, big sis. We finally completed the goodie family, and we've got the Good Witch of the North as the mom. She's got a crown from Little Goody. We colored her hair in with chalk pastel, making it look really pretty and peachy just like Goody's. And we painted in her face, her eyebrows, gave her a cute little star charm on her cheek, and also some stars in her eyes. And using her existing outfit, it was perfect for Goody already. It didn't have to be exactly the same colors. We had the same kind of theme going on and it was pink so it was close enough. And we added some stars to her outfit, plus painted her some gloves and painted painted some stars on those, and kept everything else the same, including her ballet shoes. Now moving on to Goody Dad, we painted his hair in, his eyebrows, gave him some stars in his eyes, and also gave him the star charm on his cheek, kinda like a Goody family birthmark. Painted his jacket white and gave him some stars on his light pink shirt. Gave him some gloves just like the rest of the family. And painted his pants pink plus gave him some light pink shoes to match his shirt. 
And the final result is the perfect Goody family. Here's Mama Goody with her little girls. I think she looks very matchy-matchy with her daughters. And even though in real life you guys know that real families don't look exactly alike, it's still a fun thing to do with our LOL families. And that is it for now. We don't want to take up their time too much because it looks like the Goody family and the Batty family are headed out to go to the pool supply store and maybe even go shopping for some hair supplies. I had an awesome time creating the Goody family with you guys. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.